Uh, the second topic, okay, second lesson of the complex number is to cover about the conjugate pairs. Conjugate pairs is not a brand new name for you. Okay, so for example, uh, we did use this one, square root of 5 minus square root of 2. Do you remember this sort of question? Usually question was asking you to, okay, simplify this fraction by rationalizing the denominator. Can you remember this? So what was the first step in handling this question? We need to multiply something like this one. Like this. Do you remember this? Okay, so what do they call this? That is called as conjugate pair. Okay, so this is the conjugate pair for this, while this is the conjugate pair for this. Okay, so why we can can you guys be reminded that why we have to multiply this is simply square minus square root of 2 and numerator remains unchanged like this one okay so square root of 5 square root of 5 this becomes 2 it comes out as 3 oh now it becomes a the rational number from the irrational number so this process is called is rationalizing the denominator okay so remind that in this complex number conjugate pairs it does exactly the same process okay whenever you have any complex number okay so any uh, kind of Im imaginary number in the denominator we will be doing very similar process okay by the use of i while this question was using square root okay okay when you you know as you guys can see from the board we call x minus y i is the conjugate pair of x plus y i okay so that is the conjugate pair of this complex number how do you write it like this one so bar okay above bar is called conjugate pair so how do you write this conjugate pair of x plus y i so we just come you know change the uh, the sign of just in front of the i that's all you need to do okay so opposite way if you do this one the so x plus y i is the complex conjugate of x minus i y can you imagine what do you want me to write underneath it it will be this one okay so conjugate pair of x minus y i is x plus y i the so same process you change this sign to the other one okay so minus it should be plus if it's a plus it should be minus okay that's everything what you can uh, do the example in in your example so 2 plus 3 i is a conjugate pair of 2 plus 3 i is 2 minus 3 and conjugate pair of minus 1 minus uh, 5 i is minus 1 plus 5 i so all you need to recognize is change the sign just in front of the i so that's all you have to remember okay so let's get to the question here question six okay well the first one okay so conjugate pair what is the conjugate pair from of 5 plus 3i with 5 minus 3i okay i'll give you just one second to answer for part b yeah 2 plus 6i how do you think the third part okay don't worry about this sign so negative 4 will remain unchanged only change the uh, the coefficient or just in front of the i that's all you need to do okay so that was very simple question regarding to the conjugate pair now in this one okay well we can think 2i is the conjugate pair but we can uh, make it even simpler than just a basic co uh, complex conjugate pair okay what I, what i like to do we are trying to make the denominator be the real numbers how do you doing i uh, just multiply by i okay so the use i square equals to negative one so this is all i want to do do you remember at the free pre uh, previous lesson we kept on using i square equals to negative one so what do you want to see here okay we just multiply 2i times i it becomes 2i squared so i squared is minus one sub it in it's just minus i divided by 2. Understand this? So now, 
the, what the question realizing can okay, make the den, uh, make the denominator be real number okay well remember the f initially the question was having 2i which is the complex number now the denominator becomes 2 which is real number okay so that's the f uh, very first question which is the simplest question of realizing the denominator okay question 8 simplify okay this is the one we do use we have to use uh, conjugate pair of the complex number field. So what, what is the co conjugate pair of 2 minus i? It is 2 plus i. Okay, it is 2 plus i. So multiply same conjugate up and down. Okay, easy. Then a minus b and a plus b. Okay, so it's like a difference of the square numbers. So how to expand it? So a squared minus b squared, right? And then, yeah, 1 times 2 plus i is it remains just 1 plus 2i. Okay, i squared equals to negative 1. So i squared is negative 1. It becomes plus 1. So 4 plus 1. So 5. So that's how you simplify. Easy? Okay? So this is the key part. That's the really the key part. No matter what you have here, get the conjugate pair and multiply to the... Uh, numerator and the denominator and every process will be exactly the same thing as the rationalizing denominator okay in year 10 or year 9 or year 8 okay let's do question 9 okay so compared to question 8 numerator has something okay still we we need to find out the conjugate pair and multiplying up and down. Okay, nothing different. Okay, let's do it. Multiply that, expand everything. Okay, so a squared plus b squared, and then the numerator is being expanded like this times this, this times this, and this times this. Again, keep an eye on this one. Okay, i squared is always negative one. So you can see few, you know, couple of i squared convert it to the negative i, okay? Simplify. What you're going to do, the denominator, 9 minus 4 times minus 1 becomes plus 4. And here, that will be minus 2. Can you see this? It's not new for you, okay? And everything now is to simplify, okay? How to simplify? Okay, 3 minus 2 is 1, and that's it. That's all I did. So it is simplified ever, okay? by the use of the rational number on the denominator. Easy. So that was question 9. So remember guys, every time, whenever you see the denominator, okay, get the conjugate pair and multiply as you did in the year 9 and year 10. Okay? Okay, let's do question 10. Okay, question 10. Nothing different, however, question 10 is asking us to find out the imaginary part of this one. Well, it's too easy, still easy. As long as you are able to realize the denominator, and then all you need to do is pick the imaginary part. That's it, okay? So let's start to, you know, realizing the denominator, everyone. Okay, multiply the conjugate. So what was the conjugate? 1 minus i. Okay, we're going to multiply 1 minus i and 1 minus i up and down. Okay, and expand as you did. Okay, so 1 plus i, 1 minus i becomes 1 minus i squared. And the numerator is just a simple expansion. Okay, and use i squared equals negative 1. Keep on substituting, you'll get this value. Okay, so can you see? That equals to negative 3. Okay, that's why it becomes negative 3 that becomes positive 1, okay? Simplify, okay? It becomes minus 1 minus 5i divided by 2. Now, what is the nature of the question? What's the realistic question? Find the imaginary part. What is the imaginary part? In your point of view, some of you may be able to extract the answer straight away, but I suggest you to do like this one. Take a little more step, ensuring your you know, full mark, okay? What I suggest you to do, like this one. So you can see clearly, okay, this is the real part of the complex number, and this is the imaginary part of the complex number. Well, technically, 
this coefficient is only the imaginary part of the complex number. So the answer for this question, therefore, is negative 5 pi divided by 2. Okay, so that's the final answer for this one. Okay, guys, th throughout this lesson, we just learn about the conjugate pair. Okay, conjugate pair is not different. Okay, we know this one already. We know how to use the uh, rationalized denominator a few years ago. We just mix them together. We can get the answer. Okay, so we'll see you in the next lesson.